This is your CBS 46 News Update. I'm Rick Fulbaum. Andrew Worrell was released from the hospital today after he and several other joggers were shot in Buckhead Saturday morning. He was on West Wesley Road. 22-year-old Galene Newsom appeared before a judge today. He also injured a pedestrian at a nearby apartment. A man trying to look into a midtown apartment was caught on camera. We're told he used stacked bricks as stairs to peek into a window on Myrtle Street. Residents say it's happened multiple times. Neighbors believe this is the same man who was charged in a sexual assault case years ago. So far, Atlanta police have not confirmed that connection. Nearly one year after the murder of their eight-year-old daughter, Sequoria Turner's parents are suing both the city of Atlanta and Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Turner was killed on the 4th of July while riding in the back seat of a car with her mother. Shots from a group of armed vigilantes blocking a street near the burned out Wendy's, where an Atlanta police officer shot and killed Rashard Brooks, hit Turner. The lawsuit alleges negligence by the city and the mayor for not removing armed vigilantes who gathered alongside peaceful protesters. U.S. investigators say they've recovered millions of dollars in cryptocurrency paid to hackers who attacked Georgia-based Colonial Pipeline. CEO Joseph Blunt says they paid a $4.4 million ransom to the group Dark Side last month. The Justice Department says they seized more than half of that ransom money today. And showers and storms continue in the forecast. About a 50% chance of rain tonight. It will be muggy and warm temperatures dropping to right around 70 degrees. Then tomorrow, low 80s with scattered showers and storms, especially in the afternoon. And just like today, they could be big rain producers, could see some frequent lightning and gusty winds, although no widespread severe weather is expected. And that's the rule of thumb through the rest of the week with off and on rain all week. Highest rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday, but even Thursday and Friday. Friday, we have a 40% chance of rain. It's not until the weekend that those rain chances go down. So plan on a wet and humid and warm week. Keep those umbrellas handy. We have at least a chance of rain through early next week. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.